first part of the session this morning I'll be going over the library website I'll be doing a live demo and also the PG services that we provide for postgraduate students okay so on the screen I would like you to open your internet browser okay to find us on the web are you okay no internet Okay, Niklesh is also here from the IT services. Eh? Anyone else who's having trouble logging in? Okay, put your hand up so that Niklesh will come around. Eh? Okay. So on the screen, on your screen, to find us on the web, the left side of the USP website, go to library. <coughs> That's our page. Okay, we have our services. Okay, for membership, research skills, what we're doing right now, the library tours, interlibrary loan is what I would like to share with you this morning. Usually, when uh, students after this session, or most of the sessions that you've come across so far in your undergrad, <clears throat> and also in your PG studies, uh, when you can find the electronic uh, article, okay, or any resources that will help you for your research, you come and see us, okay, for the full text. If we can't find your article, you'll be able, you should be able to uh, order your resources through interlibrary loan. Does every know, everyone knows about the interlibrary loan? No? Yes? Okay, interlibrary loan is, um, <coughs> we will order the items for you, but you have to pay a fee. Find out from your faculty or from your department if they have some funds to help you with your research. They do have that, okay? But if they don't, you come and talk to us. But if worst come to worst, you might have to pay for your own, okay? But we also have um, a service that we provide is called, the, um, no, we call it ourselves the Friends of Library, where you approach your librarian for them to get the full text for you. Now what we do, we contact our network outside USP. Okay, usually the turnaround time is very good, like five working days. Okay, that will only happen if you give us some time to get those articles for you. That's free. But if your, uh, if your due date is the next day, it will be impossible. Huh? You'll stress yourself and you'll stress me as well. Okay, so let's have that understanding. Okay, when you can find your articles, we've gone through the interlibrary loan process, you find out everything and it's not working, you come and see us, we will help you. We will try and help you. Okay, the last part is the paying part. <coughs> Printing and photocopying, you all know about that. And also laminating and binding, if you're going through that process, please, this service is from 8 to 4.30. Okay, unless if you want to collect your items, you can leave it there at the desk, you'll pay, and you'll collect it the next day. Okay, I'll go back to um, the main page. Okay, these are the uh, links to other campuses. And this is the link to the online catalog. Come in. <clears throat> okay, the online catalog. Uh, you can access the online catalog from home for whichever network you are using. And this is the, rec uh, the catalog is the, um, the database where we hold the items that are physically held on the shelf. Okay, so this is where you go to. It looks so easy, but we'll teach you some of the tricks of searching online. Okay, I'll come back to that. Okay, you all know about the um, post-grad uh, room that we have for discussion, that you can always you obtain the key from the front desk. The Ask Librarian Services, okay, this is very handy when you're working from home or from the office. Okay, our turnaround time for Ask a Librarian is 24 hours, and so far it's been very good. We answer your question, okay, instantly. Uh, this is to do with any kind of question. Referencing, okay, full text of an article, having problems with your endnote, okay, 
obtaining of uh, books from outside USB library, interlibrary loan. Okay, this is where you will uh, question the uh, librarian for this, for this type of service. Okay, exam papers, <clears throat> open access resources, this is very handy. Okay, this is a uh, free, free access for online resources. Referencing help. <clears throat> okay, I'll go through this in your scattered session, not for today. But this is the link if you wish to explore. Okay, we have prepared the, um, the three common types of um, referencing style. So are you all um, uh, aware of the uh, type of referencing style that you'll be using for SC400? No? Yes, no? I mean, either APA, Harvard, or... Okay, APA, right. Okay, subject guides. Okay, these are the guides for subject-specific kind of resources that will assist you when you are looking for biology. Okay, the list of... Uh, resources that we have here at USB and the website, specific materials that related to the particular subject of your choice. Okay. Any questions on the um, PG services, postgrad services for you? No questions? Okay, I'll move on to the uh, next part of the session, which is the uh, online catalog. Eh? So on your screen, if you can just follow the, what, uh, the demo that I'll be doing, click on more search options. Okay, there's a quick guide in your file. Okay, so right now you find a quick search. Okay, just have a look at your quick guide. Okay, we'll start with a quick search. This is a random search. Are you okay? Okay, okay. Okay, with a quick search, this is where you run a basic search, a very quick search, okay, without using the search options or the uh, Boolean operator, okay, keywords, just a quick search. Say, for example, if you're looking for something, say climate change, okay, anywhere means in that option, if I click on the down arrow, it will give you the options of title, author, subject, or series title, okay? So anywhere means anywhere, okay? Okay, so you can see on the screen, there's more than 1,000 records, and it's speaking the word climate change. Okay, it, it can do both, okay? Climate Okay, separately, change separately, and climate change as a phrase. Okay, you will notice uh, when you scroll down the screen. Okay, that's when you're looking for items anywhere. But if you click on the, um, the title tab and type climate change, the uh, button will be defaulted to browse. It will browse the list. Okay, say climate change, browse, and it will give you in the list format. Okay, it will look for that, those words. I'd just like to share with you when you, um, when you click on the item, it will take you to the list of records that we have um, on the screen, which will direct you to the shelf. If you click on the electronic access, click view, you should be able to view the item. And this, what you have on the screen, directly links you to the 
eBook Central. Okay, eBook Central uh, lists the uh, full text, full text books. Okay, for USP students and uh, staff. Has any one of you used eBook Central before? It used to be eBrary. They've just changed their name to yes. Okay, we'll talk more about that in your scattered se sessions. Eh? Okay, you can read online or you can download the, the book, but we'll only allow you to keep that book for 14 days, no matter how hard you try. Okay, because of copyright issues. 14 days and it will remove from your smart devices. Okay, let me go back to uh, spiders. Okay, if the item states that it's at the general collection and the location is Pacific Collection, meaning that you have to go to Pacific Collection and view the item. And we all know uh, the time limit for you to use an item from Pacific Collection. One of the uh, services that has changed uh, in the process of uh, the items that are held in uh, Pacific Collection is that uh, before you used to fill in the green card slips, but now you don't have to. Okay, from the catalog on the side with a piece of paper, you just go to the desk and they will issue the item. You don't have to fill in those green slips uh, anymore. <coughs> Two is that when you're using the uh, Pacific Collection, you can take your bags inside. Okay, we have the lockers there, but no food is allowed. Okay? Okay. Okay, General, uh, you also note that... Uh, We've reconfigured the space downstairs. It's in that uh, process. And what we've done, it used to uh, hold the uh, periodicals or journals, the print version. But now what we've done, since we're going to reconfigure that space uh, for science, uh, science books, you'll see that on the other side of the shelf, we have uh, stored the journals there. Okay? For social science, it's still the same, but the journals have moved. Social science journals have moved to level the B level, okay? Okay, PIMRIS items are held down at the lower campus. The call numbers, as you all know, if the um, items will direct you on the shelves, the proper shelf, and also, if the item is on loan, there is also a service that you can request for the item, okay? And you can also do that online, okay? Now, what I want you to do, um, have you come up with a topic? Okay, good. So what I'm going to do for the next five, five to ten minutes, I'll be going around and help you for your topic in order for you to run your search using the catalog. Okay, because if you're doing studies in the Pacific, uh, we have um, a very good collection. But I think it's the way you input the, uh, the, the terms that you use when you are searching for your item. Huh? So one of the, um, have you gone through, I'm sure all of you know about the Boolean operators, eh? Yes, okay, good. I just want to um, reiterate on that. The use of Boolean operators, when you're using and, you're connecting it with your key terms, okay? Sometimes what we do, because of the way the, say the way your, research or your research question is uh, written, we take it from the research question, eh? the keywords. We all know that. We do that. Okay. Uh, if it happens that you've uh, taken out the key terms from your question and you connect it with a Boolean operator, sometimes it will pick the words from the databases and sometimes it will not. Now, when that happens, you use the or operator. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do now, uh, while Caroline will work with the back, the first two at the back, and I will be working in front. So I will go through your research uh, question, not research question, the type of key terms that you can uh, use to come up with the resources that you get that. And then we'll use, I'll uh, go through with your, then I will use some of the examples on the screen so we can all watch. Okay? We'll do that so that we can... If you have any question, this is a great time. This session is a great time for you to unpack those questions that you have. Okay? 
If you're using a quick search, you have to use, you will find that under that search box, the key, key terms will be defaulted automatically. So when you're using bool, uh, key terms, you have to use your Boolean operator. Okay? Let me do that demo. Okay, anywhere, you search anywhere, keywords. <coughs> and Pacific. Okay, so 322. The more you use and, and your key terms, the more your results will be less and focus. Okay, so let's say for the first time, automatically what we'll do, we want to get our resources same time. Okay, so you get the correct terms from your questions, connect it with your Boolean operator, and you run it on the screen as what you can see. But what happens, I think most times when we do that, we use so many key terms and you have no results. Have you come across that? Okay, what happens when you do that? Okay, the other alternative you can use will be the OR operator. When you use the OR operator, OR, okay, that's part of the Boolean operator, you use the alternative terms. Now, in your, the specialty, okay, the subject, specific subject, the area that you are looking at, you must have the alternative term. Okay, say for medical, if someone comes along and uh, wanted to know there's something, there's an epidemic happening okay, at the CWM hospital and uh, the, the children are coming in uh, admitted and they have this nosebleed. Something is causing uh, children to have nosebleed. So this person is doing a research on nosebleed and children between this age group. When the person types in nosebleed and children, the results, there are some results, and the, he or she, their, uh, sorry, their literature review requires them to, take, to have 20. The other alternative term that she can look for is, would be epistaxis, okay, the use of drug and the use of subject-specific terms. You can use thesaurus. You can go to Google and search for that and type alternative term for, I'll do that on the screen. Okay, let's see. Okay, you can use that word. Okay, go to the uh, thesaurus links online and look for the alternative terms. Okay, let me go through. I'll come back to this too. Okay, please use Caroline at the back. She's there. Caroline is from the uh, Pimris. Anyone from uh, the lower campus doing climate change? Okay, we have one here. Two, okay, three. Okay. okay, can you just all put up your hand and tell me uh, your areas of study? That will be helpful. IT, one, two. The rest, biology, chemistry, good. Anything else? Physics, one, two, three. The three gentlemen at the back. <laughs> you three. Geoscience. Okay, good. Please put your hand up. This is a great time for us to talk about, unpack your questions. The first, is this the first time you're taking a, a research topic question? Or have you done research in your undergrad? Okay, I'm sure you will all agree with me at the first time you will run or think about your topic, it will not come out. Okay, 
you need to unpack your research question or your research topic. You may be looking at something, say, um, what is a great topic to use as an example this morning? Diet. One of the things that we come across in Facebook is how people are putting out status, sharing information about the health women. Okay? Take beetroot and um, celery to avoid cancer. <coughs> Have you come across that? Yes. Okay? Something that is happening, people are sharing the information about that. Okay? So when you look through that, say for example, I, I always use this example for undergrad students. When you uh, unpack your question, your research question, the first time you run your question, it may be not. It will not answer your question. Okay? You need to read through the abstract. And then once you read all your references or your resources in front of you, you should be able to connect it with your research question and your topic. Okay? So what I'm going to do, I'll go through this side while Caroline will start from the back. Eh? Okay. I'm looking at you like you are not... Uh, <laughs> I don't know, like when I'm coming through, I know I'm coming through, but uh, some of you are a bit reluctant to share what you are studying or what you are trying to find out. Okay? My area for at the, I'm sorry, I didn't mention this earlier when I introduced myself. I'm the research librarian in the library. So that's why I want to work with you closely. For this 6.5, when you leave this room, I want you to come up with something because that's exactly what we are doing on a Saturday. Okay? We want you to discover something. Okay? So please. Come out with your questions, okay? We will be here to help you, okay? I don't want you to go through the um, online catalog for this part of the session, just learning about the subjects on these books, okay? While we look at, that, look at your topic, we should be able to come out, okay? With what you want to look for, your resources, okay? Okay. I had a question from, uh, if you are accessing the uh, databases from home or outside the USB network, let me go back here. Okay, just try and click on databases if you're on the uh, library uh, webpage. Okay, if you're accessing the uh, database from outside uh, the USB network, you'll receive one, a window on your screen that you have to input your username and password. Okay, this is because of the easy proxy. So what you need to do, you need to input your username and password that you use when you use the network. That's all. That's when you click on the database, say ProQuest. Right now, if I click on ProQuest, it will take me to the, the database freely, okay? But if you're accessing from ho uh, home, say for example, you'll receive that window. Okay, this is not a perfect uh, example. Let me see. Okay, instruction for remote access. This is just an instruction where you have to input your ID. If you're a staff, you can always put your staff ID and your user, uh, password, sorry then it will take you back to the interface of that database that you wish to access. Okay? So all you have to do is that with this list of databases. Okay? Okay, some of you have found, uh, say for example, if you found an article that nails the, uh, your research question or topic, always look at the list of references that they have so that you can get more on the topic because that's where the list of authors referred to when they were writing their paper. That's a tip, okay? Uh, when I go through our EndNote this afternoon, I'll show you what Google has provided for us, okay? Looking at related resources. 
Anyone uh, have you uh, tried using IEEE from home? No? <laughs> okay, this is IEEE. Let me go over the databases, please. Yeah, that's IEEE Digital Library. Okay, with IEEE, uh, they, okay, for all the list of databases that we have at USP, or if you access it from home, not all will give you full text. Okay? But that's why we provide you with a list of multiple databases. What you can find in IEEE, you can find in other science databases. But that was my, uh, what I shared with you earlier. If you are stuck, if you can't find the full text of that particular article, you can email us. Okay? So that's the process that we'll go through. Okay. Accessing the database, yes, but sometimes it will, you will have access to full <coughs> text and non-full text. Okay. So when that happens, that's when you contact us. Okay. It's quite a long process. That's why you are given time to do your, your research. Okay. So for this type of issues that you may have. Okay. I'll come back to IEEE. I'll just work with this group. Something like uh, evaluating climate change adaptation alternative for the project management. So, uh, this is what I want to do. Okay, good. What we can do, we can start with climate change as a topic. Uh, disaster risk management and Solomon Islands. That will be your key term and you can type it. What's your topic? Climate change yeah. and? Uh, food oh, good. Climate change and food security. Capitalize. Eh? When you use the Boolean operators, uh, you have to capitalize those words. Eh? You can use climate change and root crop production or root crops. What's your topic? Mine will be on sciatic nerve. On what? Sciatic nerve. Okay. It's in biology. All right. You can, have you tried looking at the uh, catalog? This one? Yeah. yeah. Just try and. You're doing uh, medicine? No, not medicine. Oh. If you saw me. All right, okay. okay. See, if you, um, if you are stuck with your resources, mm -hmm. because it's something connected to emergency medicine, mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. you can always contact me because I know the librarian there. Yeah. Okay? What's your topic? Fish poisoning and Fiji. Uh, oh, here. This is we onto the catalog. Type it here. Fish poisoning. Yeah. Okay. Let me show you um, some of the um, alternative search ways when you use the catalog. Okay, we went through quick search where you can use the Boolean operator, climate change in Pacific, or say fish poisoning, and Fiji. Okay, let's have a look at that. Okay, two records. Okay, when that happens, you can use alternative terms or you can use. Fish poison and Fiji. Okay, no. Okay, you can try the subject terms. Say fish poison. Okay. Okay. Okay, when we use the uh, subject search field, okay, that is also important. At your level, 
are the advanced level of searching. What we are doing earlier is the quick search, random search, what we always do when we look for something. We just want a quick answer. Okay? Now, as we go deeper in looking for resources, there are alternative ways, like the use of, bull, um, not Boolean operator, the use of alternative terms okay, to capture okay, the, uh, the list of resources that you will have on the screen. Now, when it comes to, uh, do you want me to do that again? Where to go? Subject terms. Okay. On your screen, fish poison, subject term. Click OK. Now, you don't have to use fish poison. You can use the topic that you're working on. Soft drinks, okay? Soft drinks and uh, diabetes, okay? Climate change and sustainable development, okay? Some of the topics that we've been going through this morning as I work with uh, the group. Okay, when you look at your, say for example, the example on the screen, fish poison, the alternative term that you can use here is this word. That's the alternative. That's the subject. For those who are doing fish poisoning, this is the subject term that you can use or alternative term. So you will use fish poison or and Pacific. Okay. Now, the use of Pacific, the alternative term uh, in this day and age, people are using Oceania. Okay, that's the in term now. So people are using the term fish poison and Pacific or fish poison and Oceania. Now, if you're not getting enough for fish poisoning and Oceania, you can type fish poison. Let me do this. If I run a Google search on that or using a ProQuest, this is not a, okay, fish poison. Okay, look at the results. Will be more. Okay. So when we use the key terms, I'll go back to the uh, spiders catalog. Okay, you can <coughs> use the. Quotation marks. Okay, when you use the use sorry when you use the quotation marks, the uh, database or the search engine that you're using will. Uh, pick on that particular phrase, okay? Otherwise, it will pick the words separately, okay? So that's how it works on your screen. Now, as, we, um, as I'm giving the demo on the use of the library catalog, I want you to unpack your questions, the topic, okay? Um, when we also use the uh, database, one thing that uh, stops you from uh, from, you, from uh, retrieving your resources is the use of stop words. Okay, stop words will be in, the, neither, either. You only pick the key terms from your questions. Okay, or from your, the concept of your research question. Okay, you can change the words, but make sure you don't, what? Lose the concept eh, of your assignment. Okay, play around with your search and see what comes out on your screen. Like what I said earlier, the first time you run your search, it will not retrieve what you're looking for. Okay, you need to play around with the words, the key terms, use alternative terms, use of and, <coughs> but make sure you don't lose the concept of your research question or topic. Okay. Okay. Anyone needs help with the use of the uh, online catalog? No, we are all clear on that. I'll call you. Okay. Okay, this is the use of the advanced search screen. Okay, the advanced level of uh, search 
using the, we are still on the online catalog, okay? So this is, when you look at this screen, this is where you want the um, catalog to search for the terms that you input in the search box. Say, so if I say climate change here, and anywhere, say the subject, Fiji, and I click OK. This is where you will choose. You're going specific with your search. This is where you want the words to appear in the item, and this is, you're getting specific. I'm only interested in the items that are held at PIMRIS. Okay, you will choose that. Otherwise, you can leave that option open and click OK. Okay, I have 32 records. When we were using our key terms, search anywhere, we had more than hundreds. Okay, now we have 32. You're getting specific with your search. Now, one of the disadvantages of using uh, the title option when you run your search is that sometimes when you have the item on hand, you find out that this is not the subject. Have you come across that? Okay, the book says climate change and mitigation and management. And then when you actually look at the contents of the book, then you say, no, this, this is not what I'm looking for. Okay, so always watch that space when you're choosing uh, the title as the, your search option. Okay, you can change that to subject. Let's see what happens if I choose subject for that. I have two. Okay, that's the specific, that's the specific of the search item that you've, um, and it has gone to, they have to red plus. Okay, you're getting specific with your, your search question. Okay. Okay. No questions on uh, the uh, USB online catalog, spiders catalog. Let's look.